In this video, I am going to share how I became a Google Certified Trainer. My journey started when I passed Google Educator Level 1 certification. This certification is granted to individuals who demonstrate knowledge, skills, and competencies needed to implement Google for Education tools. I got my certification on May 9, 2020, and it's valid for three years. I created a tutorial video after I took the level one to share my experience and to give some before, during, and after exam tips to ace the level one. I will add its link in the description so you can watch it later if you need to. The level two certification is granted to those who can demonstrate the advanced knowledge skills, and competencies needed to implement and integrate Google for Education tools. I received my certification on June 7, 2020, and it's also valid for three years. If you have not taken the Level 1 and 2 certifications, you can go to edu.google.com slash teacher dash center. Go to Certifications tab and choose the level you need to take. To apply for Google Trainer Program, one should have conducted trainings related to Google services or certifications. I was lucky to be invited by different civic and school organizations for the past months. That's why I was able to collect at least five training experiences, which I used as basis for the case study in the application. I cannot tell you the specific questions in that case study. However, here are some tips I can share. First, prepare the results of the feedback forms of your trainings. Second, find the strengths and areas of improvement of the trainings you handle. And third, make sure that all the documents you attach are made public so the evaluators of your application will see them. Going back to the trainings I conducted, fortunately, I have a personal learning network in which I was given opportunities to have a talk about Google Educator certifications. I was tapped last June 27, 2020 by Global Google Educators Group to share my tips on how to be successful in taking the Level 1 exam. I was with other educators from different parts of the globe. On July 8, 2020, my teacher friends who are now working in an intercultural school in Indonesia contacted me if I could share how to use Google Classroom and to introduce the Google Educator Certification. I discussed the same topics to another batch of teachers on July 20, 2020. Here in the Philippines, I was invited by a division of Department of Education to conduct a webinar on G Suite apps on July 15, 2020. I also had a recurring training session at our school. On November 21, 2020, I shared latest Google Meet updates. This 2021, I discussed about standardization of Google Classroom and how Google Jamboard can benefit distance learning on January 20 and 21, respectively. In every training, it is important to get feedback from the participants. It could be used for improvement of the trainer and how the training is handled. This is the feedback form I used in my latest two-day training session. As we can see, the name of the participants is optional to give them some sort of privacy and to avoid hesitations in writing constructive criticisms. On this page, I have close-ended questions. Participants simply select a rating, 1 being the lowest and 5 as the highest. On the second page, I have open-ended questions. This will allow participants to write their insights, support needed, comments, and suggestions. If you need a copy of this sample feedback form, you can go to this web address. Next, complete the trainer course to prepare for Google Trainer application. To open the course, simply go to edu.google.com slash teacher dash center. Select the Programs tab and choose Certified Trainer Program. Scroll down until you find the steps to apply. Click the Get Started link to launch the trainer course. Don't forget to log in your Google account so you can go back to where you have left off. This course helped me to create and deliver training plans. This also gave me an in-depth information on Google for Education and how its tools can change the way I teach. I completed the course on January 22, 2021. To assess the readiness for training others, the next step is to take the Trainer Skills Assessment. This is one of the requirements that will be submitted in the Google Trainer Program Application Portal. 
If assessment is passed, it will signify that an applicant has the knowledge and skills necessary to deliver training on Google for Education tools in schools. I passed my assessment on January 23, 2021. The result is valid for three years, which means if you are still completing your requirements, you still have this period to prepare them. The next step is to create a three-minute video that will showcase your personality and instructional style. Here's my application video. I recorded this video using Screencastify Chrome extension and other free online video editing software. My application video contains brief introduction about myself, what makes me googly, what motivates me to join Google Trainer program, and a demo how I integrate Jamboard into my classes. I will also include the link to this video in the description box. After passing the Google Educator Level 1 and 2 certifications, conducting five training sessions, collecting feedback from respondents for every session, completing the trainer course, passing the trainer skills assessment, and creating a three-minute video, I decided to submit my application. To submit application, go to edu.google.com slash teacher dash center. Go to Programs, then select Google Trainer Program. Scroll down and click the Submit link in Step 4. A new page will appear. Scroll down. You will see on the right side a link that will direct you to an article about top reasons why people are unsuccessful in their applications. Let's go back to the sign-in page. Click the sign-in button, log in your email address and password when asked. Wait for a few moments until the page loads the Google application portal. On the portal, follow the on-screen instructions and supply the required data. Finally, wait for the result. I submitted my application on January 26, 2021 and the result was announced through email on February 15, 2021. This certification is granted to individuals who demonstrate the knowledge and skills required to empower educators to use technology in the classroom through high-quality training on Google for Education tools. To maintain being a Google for Education certified trainer, I should conduct and report at least 12 training events per year, share ideas and resources with our community of trainers, and resubmission of interest, including an annual product update assessment. I hope this video will help you in your Google Trainer application.